Hello, everybody. This is Lionel uh, from the Codex. I'm here with Chris. If you still have, and this is uh, the finals of the VTS Athletic Cup tournament. It was a huge event. Uh, what do you think, Chris? Um, things were definitely wild. Um, I saw a lot of intercept decks being played. I saw a lot of. I didn't really see. Uh, I only had one Emerald Legionnaire deck yeah. in my uh, in my games. I don't know it was my last turn or last round, but uh, it was just like I was playing uh, Semeti Corpses, and every game that I had, my prey was hard intercept, and my predator was stealth bleed. So. You know, sometimes with Vitesse, you, you, you get Rochambeau by table steeding, and that's pretty much your lot in life. Yeah, I totally agree on that. So. So. Yeah. Hello, chat, too. I uh, hope you're a lot watching, I guess, a number of uh, players from the cup itself. Also, just spectators who didn't have the chance to participate, I just want to see uh, see how the finals go. Uh, don't hesitate to interact with us on the chat. We read it. I'm setting it up yeah. right now, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hello, everybody. We read the chat. We answer the questions. Uh, say hi if you played. Don't hesitate to comment the game while it's live. Uh, yeah, no and problems. We'll definitely love... Uh, my desk is actually filthy. They're doing the sitting dance right now. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right, Chris? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just trying to play with my camera angle so that I can... So it doesn't look goofy if I'm watching... Listen. The game over here, or talking uh, chat over here. So. so everything goes well. Uh, the winner gets this nice baby here. This is the Atlantic Cup. You look, can you hear me? Sitting right there to be won by, you know. Beautiful. The first player. And I'm really happy to see all the prize support you were able, uh, able to manage to get too. You know, especially for it's effectively a free tournament. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we have. The winner goes with uh, a full collection of old promo kits from pre BCP era. That's more than 80 cards. So, huge thanks to our sponsor, uh, Johnny Var from Midnight Sun VTS Tour. Uh, really go there. Uh, if you need any card for your, for your deck, he has everything at a price, but at a decent price. He has kept the <laughs> game alive for years now. Uh, we love him. And thanks also uh, to BCP, of course, who are providing uh, Latin decks, so decks in Latin, um, one of it from V5, plus a full collection of every single card in V5 in Latin too. That's for the winner only. And of course, promo Baron cards. Uh, every finalist gets five of them. Uh, Runner-ups will get a few of them. Uh, yeah. Thanks everybody for all these awesome yeah. prizes. This is a free tournament, and we had, I think, 97 players in it. So you played Chris during the round, and um, yeah, you didn't achieve a spot on the table. Sorry for you. Have you yeah, played? Have you played like against? Doing... Have you played against any of them, the finalists? I mean, um, no, I did not. I don't think so. Lucky for you. <laughs> so. Looks like we're still doing the seating dance yeah. on a... Is this... Now you are his predator. Okay, so next you choose his brand. I'm not sure. Next, Clever. Uh, what Semetic Crypt did I play? I played uh, Angel, Marie Pierre, uh, Mr. Schwartz. So it was basically mostly the newer Semetic from uh, Lost Kindred.
I'm sorry I don't talk that yeah, much, I... but I'm still setting up the sound, uh, trying to get the table talk uh, at the right yeah, level. Here. I'm yeah, I've to... got mine down to, I just went to buy a uh, volume mixer and turned it down to like 20%. Move the and, down, okay? You're a you know, just because, oh. like, we still want to be able to hear the, uh, the table talk, and I'm assuming um, a lot of the other, the two other streamers that are streaming, they're, like, only getting the table talk. So that's one of the things that I think is really valuable. Like people can just, you know, they can listen to us or they can actually just watch the other ones and just watch the game as it's being well, played. Well, yeah, we will have the table talk, but we will cut it when we're commenting, obviously. And if something interesting yeah. is going on, we will set it up. Uh, tell us if it's too low, we can adjust the sound. On okay, yeah, because I think I have my uh, the actual, I'm watching the stream, but I'm, I have it muted. Because yeah. then otherwise we'd have a huge echo. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, how um, who are you rooting for yeah, in this final? Um, you know, uh, I I have played Gotcha in the past. Uh, whoever that is, it looks like he's C four. Uh, yeah, this is Bram. Uh, oh, I should probably uh, set down the names right uh, for for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, uh, let me do that. Um, Okay, and we have Fernando as first seed. Yep. Weber as second seed. So two Brazilian players here on top of the seeding. Um, what's next? Uh, then um, is Bram. So this is Gotcha, uh, Belgian champion. Yep. Then uh, Hugo, you. then Lewis. So the order is. Um, right now, the auditor, uh, the judge, explaining how this sitting dance uh, is done. It's finished now, but they need to decide who goes first. So I guess I can place my, my names properly now. So interesting, uh, you know, first seed Fernando decided to be Bram Prey, um, where second seed basically chose a very, very conservative placement here yeah? uh, between fifth and fourth seed. So, I mean, theoretically, maybe the weakest players. Notice that all the seeds in the finals have at least two game wins. So these are very strong decks, two game wins out of three rounds, I guess. Uh, yeah, no one is safe or no place is safe, really. Yeah, so a bit of everything, really. I mean, of course, two Brazilians. Brazilians were preponderant in that tournament. But, um, and they still managed to, uh, to sit pretty high uh, here on the final table.
but still a Chilean and a Belgian. So that's interesting. And who's you go from already? Uh, someone knows that? I need to check. I do have that somewhere. Here we go. Oh, so that's two Chilean. Hugo is Chilean too, right? Two Chilean, two Brazilian, and a single Belgian player uh, representing all of Europe, I guess. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. sure. Had some organization stuff. In. Last minute, it's still, it's still going down there. People are sitting. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is <laughs> like Did you switch screen or something. Guys, what's that? All right, nothing. Like, guys, this isn't that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like they're supposed to be high level players <laughs> on this big tournament I mean... and they don't really know where to sit. Oh, that's a fun one. Come on, we want for it to start now. Well, all right, so do we know where... Uh, um, <laughs> it's a pain, it's a pain. So judges is positioning everyone again, uh, trying to get that right. Sorry, I'm, team, uh, I'm still messing a bit with my, uh, yeah, with yeah. my setting too. Yeah, I get everything into place, so that's nice and shiny. Uh, we try to have a maximum of place for you know, the log, um, but also yeah. for um, for the whole table. I'm trying to get this, this, the size of the, of the cards. Uh, really nice. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're starting here. Huzzah. And I will actually go spread our... So uh, you go spring first, and it's uh, Morio already uh, immediately into play. That's a strong play as a first. Power base first Montreal, game. always a strong play of the game. Yeah, Ram does not disappoint with Nasha tablets. He always plays that in his decks. I think I never saw him playing a deck without Nasha tablets in it. You know, and it's one of those things where it's it's really nice, but at the same time, like I always just groan a little bit on the inside whenever I see Asher tablets like first turn. Yeah, and somebody. Uh, it was my first game, and literally this guy played, I want to say, like a dozen of them over the course of the game. <laughs> I do like playing uh, multi-master phase action decks like that with a lot of ashes. I had a nice victory with, uh, with a ghost deck like that. Uh, there you go. Master? Oh, Toriado and T-Tribune. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 
And there you go. This is Kleber's deck. Four top oh, dogs jeepers. out turn one. That is nothing to laugh at. But basically, he just paid four pool four to pool. just burn four top dogs. Uh, would expect him to do something with them. I think it's because, a, it, he, he's not bleeding with them. That's for sure. No, no, the slaves. So of course they yeah, cannot bleed. They're slaves. He, yeah. he needs. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. And we have Victoria, good old group two. Names are in the oh, yeah names. yeah you're right names are all over the place. Uh, let's put that right. Hard to know. This is clever. It's two <clears throat> transfers. Um, this is Graham. <laughs> this is Louis. This is Hugo. Well, it's not my fault, really, because they just uh, placed and then choose to do it otherwise just afterwards. <laughs> I bet the players in that. Uh, there, it looks like there's a request to uh, adjust the preview window so that we can see all five players' pool totals. Right now, it's cutting off at Louis. Well, well, well. I will, I will get to that. That's for sure. I, I overlooked it. You put uh, life in no bloody. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm fixing that. Why can't I? My mouse is not just helping. Come on. You need to be seated to vinify that. No, I think you just need to uh, you just need to uh, click on the the bar between the preview area and the play area, and just slide it over a little bit so that your card previews are not so. No, but huge. I mean, you can reduce the uh, the window to just have the pools and not all the things here, but. Yeah, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I managed to do it like uh, in testing, but I think because now I'm not sitting on the table anymore, even even though I host it, I, I cannot set that back. I want to disturb the play with it, so I'll just yeah, yep. do it like that. Master? Fair. Looks like we're. Uh, I, I won't. I won't be able to have everyone. Included. Yeah. Sorry, we have to bear with us. I will scroll if you like, <laughs> if you it's ask. Zero stealth, right? Yes. Have a look. I the VP, but how do you do that? Um, um, I'm not really sure what decks are in the finals. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of uh, strange top dog. Right. Oh, the top dog thing. So. He recruited a thin brother here. Hunting. Oh, look. So that one won't be a slave, right? And he's getting all of his as the crow pulling all the as the crows out of his hand. Yeah. In blue Just hunting as the crow, hunting again, just to cycle, I guess. And yep. get this thin blooded seer. So four dead dogs mean four embraces basically. And those can bleed next turn. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not too bad. No look. So, another. Let's see. Torador in a tribe breed boon probably. Any block? No look. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Should be some kind of telegram there or foundation exhibit deck here. No look. Uh, using Toriadon to trigger master cards to boost a massive number of Toriadors into high blades, high votes kind of mechanics. No look. And that's it, that's a four thin blooded seer yep. for, for the top dogs. I wonder if he's got Asher tablets in there too to but try to. Hunting? Okay. Oh, blocking the hunt. But, yeah, I mean, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, because those top dogs are going away this turn, so. They're dead anyway, but the, but the thin blooded seers uh, are here to stay, so you need to handle them sooner rather than yes. later. Yeah. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, yeah, Tuttle cannot play the embrace. It's too much. And 
don't have yeah. the blood, no but they can play that one. Strike for two. Okay. And they use sticks. <laughs> so they're not uh, as, uh, yeah, as inoffensive as you would think. Baby gargoyles with teeth. <laughs> yeah. Minion face. You didn't have blood from the hunt yet, so. What? Uh, you hunt. Move to Torture. Tor Oh, yes. yes, 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 for sure, yes. So, of course, gets hit, goes to Dapper. Yep. Catching these hands. I activated table token. Tell us if it's too low and you don't hear it. I just yep. activated it now. An Ozebo wall. Or maybe. Something like that. There are other things you can do with Ozebo. Yeah. Very good boxes. You could expect guns out of the kind of clan. We we'll really have to see how that deck plays. Like also to Parthenon and the sure tablets. Yep. Pretty sure I saw one. You know, a sure tablets at every table that I was at. Right. Well, it's a good question. Go of Ooh, why? We might see uh, oh, the block, of some kind of intercept out of. Yeah, so from, kind of a wall. From Hugo. From Hugo. So Kleber chooses place. Maybe he has a plan, maybe he has no idea what Hugo is playing because he didn't play him during the rounds. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, maybe just his plan is to like overrun him. Uh, as soon as possible, uh, because he could be a real showstopper for his deck uh, later on. I don't know. Yep. Then we'll have to see how the game plays out. Unlocked. Well, this thin blooded sick thing is Local going to be Montreal. very fast, so it can put him in mm -hmm. a tremendous amount of pressure oh. on his prey, I think. And we have something interesting going on. It looks like uh, Bram is. Going after power base Montreal. Okay, that's a good one. And takes it. Uh, influence. It's a little. It's not a huge reach across the table. Power base. Just because he's probably worried about his grand prey getting uh chalking up too much, basically. Let's Plus, it's always one tool is one self. Tool. Maybe, no. maybe it's just because you know of transfers, uh, making it win, making him win a turn just because of the additional transfer. I would definitely go for it uh, for that. Plus, he wouldn't expect to yeah. the edge, I guess. At that point, I was ready. Hit plus one hand size, location control. And this is a Guillaume deck. So it's a very specific Giovanni build. Using Guillaume as a star. We had two Guillaume decks I... during the tournament because Taylor, a uh, top German player, was playing one too. And she was, yeah, in the top 10 somewhere, I think. Yeah, I was actually really happy to see her uh, do as well as she has. Yeah, Taylor, uh, really are you here with... in the stream? Are you in the chat? What do you think of this Guillaume deck? <laughs> um, and I'm not really sure how they actually operate. Because I don't think I've ever seen one before. Other than the fact that, you know, he has dominant. <laughs> yeah, but it does. Um, that depends. There are multiple build, builds. So Talon has been running a build with Shambling Holds, for example, as support. Uh, the whole point, of course, is to play a number of locations as masters. So the more the play goes on, the more your hand grows, mm -hmm. and you have like a large choice of what you can yeah. do with it. So it gives you a tremendous... Uh, versatility. No block. Oh, we have votes here with the Palagrande. So this is a Palagrande Not... exhibit deck. Okay, I take three. Three and up. Doing it. Predator and prey. And actually, I heard the uh, the one to, the three to prey, one to grand prey as the French allocation. I don't know how. <laughs> That's how, a good how one. You're... 
Uh, I don't know if I should how your meta is over there. To me, right? I've seen that. I've seen that uh, done by French players for sure. I hope we're not the only one to do that. If you hope to to have us um, to pray fast enough, it makes a lot of sense. Yep. But also too, like I get the idea that where you do want to stymie your predator, and you know one pool isn't going to necessarily put them out of the game, but it is going to you know more than two or three times. Like it's gonna add up. Oh, Guillaume is blocking, blocking, the, blocking the vote, of course. Yeah. And a lot of people like necromancy is often a very expensive discipline, but it's still like super versatile. Yeah, it's very strong. Like you've got stealth, you got intercept, you got a couple other neat tricks that you can do. Okay. And this is a combat end on the turret the side, but. The consequence Boon didn't get through. Oh, second one. That's a harsh one. <laughs> That's really what you want to block when you're well, okay, yeah. the predator of that deck is get the damage, let the damage go through because you need to block the boons so if you want to kill a prayer at some point. No block. That's one I guess. <laughs> Uh, Talon tells us, <laughs> I hope he brings the Shamblers and kills the Tad Dogs. So I don't know uh, how Guillaume is running. There are really multiple options here. You can bring Shambling Holes, you can just use some Nocturnes for defense because you have Optin Aggression too. Um, you kind of, it's useful to try to make use of his ability to recruit um, and yeah. employ uh, at plus one stats, but it's not and that. Master? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure it's central to the deck. Like what you need to do is bounce, bleed hard. Uh, that's basically it, right? <laughs> yeah. What? So, thin, thin blood, it says bleeding. One. And it goes through and gets the edge. I Did think you? this is uh, the whole game plan here. Some computer hacking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it new, the top deck thin blooded seer? Uh, I never saw this deck personally, so I don't know. Maybe this is a totally new uh, deck list. Um, no, no, oh, I you know of it, Chris. One. This, this bleed one. No, I haven't really seen it. Um, also, too, yeah. a lot with like my local players and that I have when we're able to get together. And, uh, um, there's a lot of older players that oh, haven't really no, bought no, no. like a whole lot of new no, cards. No, like, no. I have uh, one guy that basically. He just uses yeah, no, jihad cards and that's it. So, um, okay. you know, and it gets a little challenging to tell him like, "Hey, that card text has been reworded." <laughs> of course. In and that has been a bleed for three with leverage, and no more, more of course, more thin blooded here. So the bleed going first. Please? You want to block that, no, then no. you have your hand free Actually. to recruit more thin blooded here. It looks like a tremendous amount of pressure. No wonder this is like second seed. Three game wins on that deck already in the rounds. Please two. Another bid for two. Block it. Blocked by Anchor George. No pre maneuver. Mm -hmm. No maneuver. And for one, two. This is like a lot of actions for, uh, you know, like 10, 2, uh, 8 I actions, mean, wow. <laughs> in a lot of ways, too, you know, the person who takes the most actions tends sorry, to win. Here. Yeah. Yes. Dragonborn uh, can really hurt uh, that deck. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Tension in the ranks. Uh, Definitely. Because <laughs> you do burn, those top dogs do burn, they do not get removed. Bucket. Yeah, this is a costly, costly deck as every top dog deck. Oh, rock cats. No look. Okay, that's a strong ally. So, can defend, can yeah. rush a bit. Uh, that's nothing to mess with. Optional press, and can use a. Uh... Potence as a three-capacity vampire, which is 
Um, are there any potence cards that actually uh, require three capacity? Uh, you block it. I don't know. Um, I would just disarm with, with the rock attack. <laughs> Okay. Basically because it hits for three, so that's hard to prevent. Yeah. And uh, no one over. And more sets. But, he, but even then, you know... Um, because <clears throat> you can still... It can still do... Uh, what is that? Uh, heroic strength, I think. Which gives a bonus to strength. Which... That'd be utterly terrifying. Rock cat, <laughs> you know, with a rock cat with a walking stick, you know, swinging for like nine. Oh look, that's a really. They have a press and everything. So, yeah. uh, double trying to handle him like block key actions. The the hands, the recruits. Uh, that Should looks really like a, a lot of work. Yeah, okay. I would guess that cross housing that one uh, kind of makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> Quick, everyone oust him so that we can actually sit down and enjoy our game. <laughs> They're just like, thanks, yeah. guys. I mean, if he pulls this off, uh, this could be a very short finals. It's kind of a whole or nothing kind of deck. I mean, the rock cat here yeah. brings a bit of stability, but yeah, because it's also not a you know a one capacity vampire. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. Uh, pool totals look pretty high so far for it being, um, you know, there were what three turns into the game, four turns into the game. No, <laughs> this three, is the, three at most, I think. Yeah. yeah, this is the third turn. Yeah. Motor dogs, only three this time. So I guess this is some kind of structure that builds like the world champion winner from last year. We actually brought a new version of kind of the same thing, Top Dogs with Legionnaire to the tournament, but mm -hmm. that didn't go well. Um, maybe this is an evolution well, of that, what do you think? Um, well, I mean, <clears throat> I think uh, playing the last year on the Lackey, there was a lot of, you know, like almost every table I sat at, there was somebody playing uh, Legionnaires. Um, and going into the no you know the Atlantic Cup, it felt like there was right. a lot of uh, anti-ally tech. Mm -hmm. uh, I think every table that I sat at had a cheap a toe tech. Like, hey, I'm going to steal your allies. <laughs> um, and there was a I saw a bunch of entrancement, which normally I don't see a lot of. Yeah, but I think if you're expecting adapted. an ally head. Yeah. You know, if you're expecting allies, that's definitely a great card. If you have presence, it's a great card to have. Yeah. Everything is kind of expecting it. So actually in the rounds, there were not very, uh, there were not a great numbers of Ever Legion decks. Maybe, I don't know, like yeah, I, three or three, three maybe out of 97 players. That doesn't yeah, sound like play, a top I, tier deck. You know, it's, it was not that much played. I think because um, people take it, took into account that uh, the meta has adjusted and we have so many anti allies tech that Legion is yeah. not as good as it was uh, like a year ago. Uh, rack. Um, Need one. Yeah, so. Deflected the bleed, bleeding for one. Oh, that's a solid down. <laughs> Montreal. Good <laughs> little representation. I'm not Here's sure about that. <laughs> um, so the the first game that I played uh, sorry, go ahead. had so, two players uh, doing uh, playing a Masuntha deck, and I actually saw him get contested for like the bulk of the game. And um, my prey, who uh, led the contest, uh, had enough intercept that I just couldn't get past him with mm -hmm. anything in it. And he ended up winning that game, <laughs> which, I mean, it was no, no. just a breathtaking display of, you know, patience and knowing when to act. Um, yeah. Try to block. 
so we can see a player's okay, pool. Okay. Um, yeah, no, sorry, I can yeah. I can not really change the setting uh, right okay. now. So I'll just ask if you want to know the pool, we can tell it to you. Try to block. I'm sorry about that. I tried to set it up more nicely, but uh, it didn't fly. No I'm pissed about that. Lucky is such I such a difficult finish. technology here. Okay. Well, it's the best that 2007 has to offer. <laughs> so, um, it looks like we just had a combat between no pre, no maneuver. Right. Uh, Guillaume and TT Camara. And strike. It's in progress. That is some lovely artwork from Gina's. On that spiritual intervention. Oh, well, we do have guns on this um, Madison Tower Zebra thing. And second given is out, this is a Cory. So, yeah, he tried to he blocked the superior goblin here, uh, basically to, yeah. to make him pay for his vampire. It's always a good strategy when uh, you're a predator to dominate, I think. Yeah. I can defeat it. And that's a uh, turn for the Torado here. Yeah. So four minions already, and Foundation Exhibit hits the table. So now they have votes, but in addition, they bleed hard. Oh, look. Yep. And. No block. Embrace, embrace hunting. Yep. Okay. Let's see what do we got coming out. Another embrace. No block. All right. So the real question is, is who's got the Ancilla empowerment? No block. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who has that card in their deck? Too bad. I like actually the, did seriously. The three of the decks don't play votes because they could do like two hours in a single card here. <laughs> and here comes the boom. That's what you need to block. But yeah. What is Fernando doing with that? Okay. Okay. Which is going right. through. Uh, they let it happen. That's a lot of pool here. <laughs> sure is. Uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be, I mean, this is still super early in the game. Um, and like I said, for every con boon, like, you know, like you can lose pool really fast. Yeah. Uh, depending on, you know, how the table turns. Uh, he's got dominated as, as his predator. Yeah, that's good uh, damage. I'm really, you know, I'm wondering a, what Smashunta yeah. will do here. Is that more of a wall? It looks like a wall with the rack and uh, more uh, yeah. everything. But, uh, and the Zebo, of course. Okay. I mean, it will have to handle like the Malkavian. Tribute to the. Seven, two, now we're seeing a tribute to the bastard. Six, seven, yep. That's a lot of pool right. back. That's a smart player. Yeah, that's also a big pool. That's a big pool game. Correct. Oh, that's an interesting choice for this deck list. Because it was down at 12. Um, the step dogs are really costing a lot, plus log cats and everything. Yeah, but this tribute, you're basically yeah. <clears throat> back on 19. Oh, no. You have to run with everybody, you could, you could lose a lot of them by hunting. No, look, no. like, and I kind of get it too because hunting. you know, nobody no, no. wants to block a tough dog, no, no. but by the same token, he they, like. Every turn, he's basically four tur paying four pool to take four actions with tough dogs. Yeah. Oh, but he's already down to three. Right. And maybe there's something that goes That's down cool. very fast in his game plan, you know? Like go four, four, three, and then two or one or zero later on once you have all the thin blooded seal out. Hunting? Yeah. Hunting. Oh, look. Gotta say, you know, for his, you know, for what, whatever's going on with uh, Gotcha. Um, or Hugo, I should say. Um, he kind of looks like he's going to be in dire straits. Hunting. Just because he's, you know, like, 
even if he's playing the most walliest of wall decks. Like, there's only so many cards you can play against so many actions. Yeah, plus, plus he played Uncle George and he played Kindred Spirit already, so I expect more of a Kangle toolbox still doing Stealth Blade with uh, Classical Malachi in here. I think Kleber chooses Pot uh, really well and he'll probably crush his prey here. Yeah. Looks very hard for you. Yeah. Maybe to Janini. So he's going for Justine with the rock cats, right? Strike, that, strike right? for three. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Okay. That's a majesty. Right now it was a, uh, yep. One, two, three new cards out of the crypt. Um, I mean, there are seven Torridors that can be for two here. Uh, How many? Uh, he still has 20 cards left in his crypt, so. Yeah, but Club is a 90 pool. He could die. Maybe not next turn. Uh, that's why he played the tribute, I guess. But that much Torridor on your crypt yeah. side, that's a worry for sure. Like, or, or maybe he was just worried, you know, because he did have to tap out to basically gain all of that pool. Um, okay. I would still be, like, that would be, you know, a lot in terms of, like, 16 pool. I've seen it happen. Yeah. But by the same token, uh, I would still be kind of, I would be surprised if we saw it. You know, pool loss that great in one turn. Yeah, 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 me too. I mean, theoretically, uh, you know, seven Doritos, seven, yeah. seven uh, kind resources contested, and that's it. But I would expect Kleber to run some delaying tactics in a deck like this. Uh, it's too fragile against Vault otherwise. And Basanta Sema is out. That's interesting. I guess Hugo is going uh, full defense, right? right? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Delaying uh, before. Right. Delaying here. Yeah. Fashion. I remember when uh, my playgroup first discovered Valane, <laughs> and I had a couple of people kind of like, oh, well, why would I ever use Valane? You know, when. Uh, uh, you know, I could just use you know minion tap, and I'm like, because it's a trifle, and you can play a second master card. Like that, this card is going to be game changing once people, you know, figure out how to use it. And we've got a bleed getting deflected. Power base. Anarch. Anarch. Yeah, sorry, I didn't have time to, to read during uh, the tournament. I will. Uh, <laughs> but now is the time. <sighs> so. uh, discard turn. Discard the tablet, so I guess it has another one in hand already. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't. If he has another one, you know, he clearly needs to have some other card because. You know, what else is he going to do with two in his hand? He could just dump it and then get it back with yeah, sure. more tablets. Please. Guillermo tries to block. Who? Guillermo. Okay. I will increase. Give me a green forward. My one. Mm -hmm. And increase the bleach by one plus one stealth. Oh, that's five. At one stealth. Do you think that was like. Right. Right. They didn't even negotiate yeah, it. Seems but it seems like it was little... intended for the top dogs. <laughs> I mean, that could very well be. But he could have also. Five. Okay. Yeah, well, I think it was intended. <laughs> 
Um, didn't he? Oh, he didn't play the uh, thing. He played it for the intercept. Oh. The uh, telepathic misdirection. He tried to block it. Good point. Yeah, he doesn't have it at Superior. Hmm. Not too bad. <laughs> That's fine for you. Bleed okay, this deck well, bleeds well, hard, no. <laughs> I guess. Have a look. See, the thing uh, is, though, is... Ouch. Ouch. Man, that was, what, like 11 pool? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's you know, it's like 10 Five and five. Five and five. Jeepers. Ten in a turn. Okay, no wonder this is first seed. This is bleeding so hard. It relies a lot on the fact that our investigation is not that much played. <laughs> you know, which honestly, like depending on what meta you go to, like his, um, I've played in different groups where, you know, people just bleed big and they don't bother with our kind of investigation. They just kind of double down and bleeding big. <clears throat> or you have, you have groups that will only bleed for three ever because yeah. they are petrified. And they uh, are totally frozen in the fear of the Arkham investigation. Yeah, I tend to, I, I tend to agree. It, it's worth the risk sometimes. And yeah. obviously, this time it was uh, since Fernando is sitting on the seat here. So more and so, yeah, I don't know if uh, no Bram is playing fast turns on purpose or not. I mean, he just doesn't really. No block. You know, he's only got the two minions. It's really not much for him to do. Um, unless he has actually a very clear plan like as to what he is going to do next. But if he's playing yes. kind of a wall um, archetype, I think in his position, um, the timer might be an issue because if he's confident enough that he can stop the top dog thing right on his door, <laughs> then it means he can grind the table to the end. And yeah, that might give him a win. But if I manage to have Fernando is <clears throat> he can be sitting like with one VP on timeout or uh, like there's something but that. Here's there's the something thing that, though, yeah. like um, assuming the top dog deck ousts uh, Hugo, oh, no. you know that's still like he would have to oust his prey. <laughs> And then and grind the table. Grind the right. Hall. So that means right seeing that this is a Consigonus Boon Swarm deck, it no, means no, a lot of time. No, so no, maybe no, this is why no, he's playing fast. No, he's no, really, no, you know, saying, okay, if I, if, I, if I win this, it will take two and a half hours, uh, probably no, 15 no. turns or something. So we need to be yeah. on. <laughs> the fast is a bit. And it looks like uh, Derby is trying to, he doesn't have many useful action options. So he doesn't really need much time, which is. It goes to the thing that I was saying earlier, where it's just, you know, if he only has a handful of options, you know, it's not going to take him a long time or a lot of heavy and hawing to, to decide what to do. Yeah, you're right. I mean, spreader to just get everything unlocked to, to defend. So. And over. And strike. And strike. And we got some fisticuffs between Torridor and a tribute. Yeah. And the uh, dogs. Ooh, and there's and that It's time again. to see the rock cat, of course, of course. Okay. So what will it be? You. And it's just it. It goes through easily. Oh, that's harsh for the top dogs. No block. Yeah, who is still next? <coughs> and good question. Like Guillaume could also go for it. Maybe with a far, far mastery or something. So we have nine Toriadors plus a rock cat. But he didn't manage to play. Um, the boon this turn, so he might be uh, right in a position to get That's lunch cool. by the Gabani. <clears throat> it looks like twelve is possible, the... <laughs> you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but is that also the right tr right play to make? You know, 
unless he does want to be next to, you know, that's one of the things I'm always super concerned about is like, you know, I can lunge, but do I want to? <laughs> um, Being credited to the top dogs? Well, I guess, yes. For me, that sounds perfect placement for the Giovanni because they don't have any defense really against get the bleed. They can bounce. Mm -hmm. They blow a bit, but not that much. If they don't do a VP very fast, uh, they dead the water here. Oh, look. Bouncing? Well, and we're almost down through. to uh, stable amounts of pool. Yeah, looks like uh, Hugo's got. Hugo is set uh, to block the bleeds. Yeah, he's right. I mean, he's down to 11. It's not a lot. And the bleed for two or three is uh, this, this emblem. It's here. Block it. That's or, six um, of them. No maneuver. No maneuver. And strike. That's just an strike. And that's it. Kept it in defense. No more bleed. Maybe he wants his prey to go forward a bit, put some pressure on the ground there. Mm -hmm. Also, maybe he's only at 12 and he has these many Toreaders um, voting on his <laughs> on his back. And yeah, let's do something about that. I know. Yeah. But can they catch votes? Well, I mean, they can catch bleed, and that's always good. But Two top dogs down to ten. Uh, you need to pay for the top dog. Yes, sorry. Vilain on Vasantasana. Yeah, she's big enough for that. I'm wondering about this Malkavian deck because it seems to be very, very, uh, how do I say that? The flow, the card flow seems perfect. Got Mongrel, yeah. got the ball, got Pule, you know, it was, uh, yeah, nice. Uh... Like, you know, and it could just come down to just getting a good shuffle and getting no, the cards that you need when you need them. You know, it's. No, but I mean, the, the deck is well done because. Yeah, it sets up really There's... fast and precisely, and he needs that because in front of that opposition here of one of the gargoyles, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, again, not right. playing full defense here. Like, you know, and Hugo is definitely you know kind of caught between a rock and a hard place, which oh, I can totally. really understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the right move. That's the right move. And Madison yeah. is reduced to building for one. And getting right. reflected to the tornado. <laughs> yeah. It's one. Okay. I still think this uh, this this does not Which... look great for the tornado player here. Like it is key for the Giovanni. Either they oust him now or next turn they can take two, three boons and the tornado is back yeah, at thirty that's... pool, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the window that's probably the most dangerous right, because for uh, well, Louis, because it's like, uh, man, that's a lot of actions you can take. And if you only get, like, he only needs to get one or two of these conservative uh, consequentious boons through, and then, like, what are you going to do when he's got, you know, goes back up to 30 pool? So yeah, sorry you cannot spectate on Lackey directly yourself because Lackey has a limit of 10 players. Uh, and here we have uh, five players plus the judge plus us four streamers. Uh, that's the two of us, of course, but also we have uh, Henrique, a streamer uh, from Brazil, who streams in, in Portuguese, obviously, and um, uh, Cisco Bar, a streamer for, from VTS Mexico, from, from Mexico, streaming in, in Spanish. So... 
can watch yeah three streams available so go wherever you like <laughs> but uh, 10 players already on the table in Lackey uh, did the deflection get paid for and that's it it's down to five Guillaume is acting he's taking the window right here I think yeah Seducting Titi to avoid an eagle sight, that's a very smart move here. Pro, pro tip. <laughs> Poor level. Yeah. So then? No luck? No luck. Um, I would expect a modifier. Five. Oh. Oh, does Five. he have? And he's got it. And it's a threat. No block. Matt Assista is winking. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Fetching an eagle sight. Does he have it? Okay. Doesn't have it. That's it. Lewis is out. That was fast. This game is like deadly. Wow. Jeez. Bye bye, Rockcat. Bye bye, Rockcat. That's Matasunta that worked with uh, Ace of Argus to try to, to eagle side, I guess. But I uh, didn't yeah. update it. Because so. the last thing he wants is his prey to gain pool. <laughs> Yeah, so he's already first seed, so with one VP, he's winning this game uh, even more. <laughs> yeah. Can you remove your cards from the table? I mean, if he does, okay. one more VP, uh, Bram doesn't not have a game anymore, cannot win that. Yeah, uh, Vibus, it's... Uh, the, it was a rock cat. It is a gargoyle ally that was brought to play by Top Dogs. Basically, that's swipe for me. Yeah. Oh boy, scourge of the Anakians! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, bye bye, all these gargoyles. One per turn will die probably. Go. Let me. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, like you said you before, it? it was like he had to have lunged Let there now. Check. It was very. I mean, you need to have the cards, so still a very strong yeah, full deck. But uh, wow, because this is pretty much the only time that he was going to be able to do it. Even one, Let's go. Um, one more turn would have given yeah, that was it. tough. Master, the boot. <laughs> go, Giovanni. Go. Okay. <laughs> Thailand is rooting for Guillaume, of course. What do you think yeah. of his version? So heavy bleeds like that, no shambling hordes. Uh, okay. Will you do the switch? <laughs> okay. Just one bleed off. I'm also surprised that he hasn't done more to like steal the rack or steal power base Montreal. I mean, with the gargoyles? From his pre. Uh, uh, not the game no, uh, from his predator. Yeah. He seized he seized the opportunity here, like the only moment okay. he could take this story the deck down was so early oh, in the game, uh, like that. Hunting. It was well well crafted. Mm. Wonderful house. No luck. It's hard and to do like too. it looked it looked only like okay he, he's bleeding on that set and it oh, works, well, you know, but well. uh, it's hard to, to time it perfectly and seize it and have the cards. Because he bled for yeah. like uh, 22 in two turns, it's uh, oh, <laughs> you need to have that in hand and you need to make it work yeah, was... against so many tables to sit here on the finals. It's uh, it's not an easy feat. I mean, but all it does take is just one archive yeah, investigation to pretty much stop you dead in your tracks when you start do you know bleeding for five regularly. Um, yeah, for sure. And yeah. even then, looking at everything, um, Fernando is. I mean. He's still only got 11 pool left. He is, you know, basically one bad turn away from yeah, uh, but... having some problems. Like, he needed that oust. But does his, does his Predator hit so hard in terms of forward power? I would expect some Anarch Revel to go down at some point because of the Anarch. Um, yeah. I think Dub, Dub is right here. You don't want to, to, to mess with this looks like a strong wall and you don't want to go for the rack on more world because you can get killed playing with that <laughs> very fast like a vampire can go down to torpor immediately
The dreams, finally. Okay. Yes. Are we going to have it for cards or for for cards? Well, yeah, he's a bleed bleeder. Nobody else is, but right depends block. on how the Malkavian is playing. At some point, if he begins to bleed forward, uh, that could hurt with some it's directions. Actually, uh, I mean, telepathic actually, directions. Yeah, plus one stealth. Mm -hmm. Cause... No, it's okay. I'll uh, I'll try. To... No, I'll I'll. Sorry. I play my intercept anyway. Try to block. Trying to block was the camera. Like maybe he is fishing for his uh, deflection so that he can send them to uh, Fernando. No block. Interesting. Minus one intercept here. Yeah? Random patterns. So he has no title and uh, Vincent has plus one stats, plus one bleed. Here, go yes. to bounce. Great, I said. One stats. Reading for two. And no title on the Giovanni side, I right? So that's also two stats. I said pray. So, yes, bounce. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, the rock cat actually left the play. By a mission, right? <clears throat> yeah. Um, no need for for now. You hear the, the table talk, all right? Yep. I mean, I hear it, but I'm also in the Discord channel. <laughs> yeah, that helps. Uh, I, I'm in for the spectators here in the in the chat room. <laughs> You can still play this. Yeah, and looks like the blades are finishing in the gargoyles anyway. <laughs> I, actually, I think I did play Bram in my first. Yeah, he was in my first. Was this game? I don't know if we played the first round together or not. No. Because uh, you got you got Madison Tech getting on blasted, right? So maybe it was. It was uh, uh, What is Cleaver's pool total? It is 12. Um, yeah, you can actually probably get rid of that seat in Lackey. Yeah, I, I cannot click on, on anything right now. Okay, I, I, I'm right clicking and it does nothing. I don't know why right. I don't have. I would like to get I should be able to do that, right? No luck. Um, yeah. Either that, or you can sit there oh, well. and then remove it. You might be only um, might require to uh, be in a seat to remove it. No, oh, I think influence I'm, three. I don't know. I think you can remove a seat when it's the last one. So either would have to move up when it messes everything up. I don't Nuriel. know. Oh, Nuriel. That's an interesting combination. That's an interesting oh, wall. Running Mahasinta and Nuyo. We don't often see them together. That's clever. Um, can you uh, adjust the names? Because yeah, Louis course. has been uh, hosted and Fernando's yeah. hogging the entire bottom of the table. <laughs> he took half a table for himself. Sure, there we go. <clears throat> right. Which... So the storage and explaining is very typical from Guillaume's deck. Not everybody likes that in a Guillaume's deck, <laughs> but uh well, it makes Take sense. You get one card down on the annex uh, and uh, an additional card in the hand because it's a location and uh, um, the ability. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Well, We're trying to block. No block. No block. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there's nothing. His tough dogs haven't really, I mean, he, they've taken a lot of actions, but they haven't really done a whole hell of a lot in combat. 
No, Brazil doesn't have that much defense. It's really, it's really a full full no. deck, but the Malkavians have kind of stopped it. I'm a bit sad for Kleber. Okay. Looks like he will get crushed by his uh, <laughs> Brazilian friend here. Master mm. uh, drinks contest. Oh no, that's it. And pay for one. David? Uh, testing the dreams. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. I know it's a, a stupid action, uh, but could you try and steal a uh, power base Savannah? Uh, man, I may. Uh, I try to to go forward now. Uh, it's my only chance. Well, I do play some eagle sites, but if if he's just gonna lock a location to like combat ends, it doesn't make much sense for me to block him. Just saying. Do your okay. Game. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but it, it, I mean, taking a card away from your predator is still going to stymie your predator. Um. But it, it, it's really questionable as to like how effective that's going to be. Well, this is very strong, this seven, I think, in the new field here. Mm -hmm. I mean, understand Bram. Uh, I understand. This needs to go away uh, for him to be able to block uh, when he, if he gets yep. his eagle sights at and some point. In blue, hunt. Yeah, for now is recruiting, of course. Yeah, that's 10 baby gargoyles right there. So, is he uh, going for the spawn base? Hmm. What are we doing? I mean, he has a point that going forward is important at that point. He need to house his prey or he won't be able yeah. to pay for much more tap dogs. So. Kind of no one over. No one over. Strike punch for two for three. And of course, playing a bit of target Hand vitals. Here. Vi Hands on vitals. Out, out, out. One could George. One to zero. And bleed two. And the bleed. Was it a <clears throat> redirection, a bounce, but on the hook, I guess, on his prey, right? Uh, try to block. Okay, block it. Melacinta is blocking. Nothing till hands. Uh, no pre-maneuver. No. no maneuver. Okay, no maneuver. Nothing. Uh, I mean, you're going to get hit hands for three, so... Uh, yeah, I chose to block yeah, with Zelda, you know, like uh, <laughs> you could have blocked with uh, uh and not send that to Tolpa, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, and he prevents. It looks like okay. and gains a pull from it. Yeah, that's right. Please, I mean, you need to use her, right? Two. Plus, if he goes forward very hard, he will be his next predator, and <laughs> that means you have to handle him. Yeah, Carl, it's four locations. Uh, insurance scan is not a location. So he's got the Barons, okay. he's got two storage annexes, and he's got power base savannah. Uh, try to block now. Um, but block the problem it. is Bram is really in a delicate situation here. He needs to kill his prey before uh, uh, the gargoyles die, three. basically. Yeah. Sure. I, I agree with that assessment. Because so, the gargoyles are probably starting to lose a little bit of steam. They're getting some minions in torpor. No way you can yeah. oust him. Please take Savannah. Um, <laughs> Asking for him to take Savannah again because there's no oust here. Please. The lunch won't go through. Yeah. Uh, 15 pool remaining. There's no way to do that with uh, three gargoyles. Oh, that has a point. 
One. But also that's like his only chance. <laughs> Leech? Because if Kleber dies, and that's it for him. He cannot win anymore. You no know block? Well, yeah, I don't think that the table would recover from. Uh, uh, it would need to take down the Giovanni then, then down the Mighty Cape. Yeah. <laughs> And even then, I think that uh, okay. Bram would probably only be able to do that with the help of Hugo. Exactly. They would literally have to both turn around and lay into him. And, you know, like, I don't know. <coughs> that, that, that would might be make the right sense. That might make sense for Hugo. I don't know. Because if he ousts. Um, okay. because, because at that point, the oh, first wow. seed will, will sit on 2VP. So either you oust him. Or you need to yeah. make three. <laughs> uh, making three yeah. is making not only your prey, but also then, the first seed afterwards. Uh, yeah, because then that. whoever ends up winning, um, you know, if uh, Brom, you know, if, if Fernando's out and Brom gets a victory point, and then basically whoever wins the exchange between the two of them is the one who takes the game. Hmm. Or um, wait. Kleber no. is down at five. That's daring. I might not have that much choice, but it's like a knife well, on the foot for, for, for he, Brad. He needs yeah. to block everything on the Giovanni side or uh, But he's only got two minions on tap. I Giovanni just needs to sneak one bleed in, that's pretty much it. Yeah. But well, I mean, he can block. probably cannot block whatever whatever happens. But yeah, and actually, Carl brings up in the chat, uh, Hugo can't win if Rob gets a VP, and that's actually correct because then he would be tied with uh, Fernando. Yeah, totally. and then they would, you know, the tie would go to Fernando because he was top seed, correct? Correct. Well, as always, possibility, you know, <laughs> he was brands and yep. then he was the top dogs afterwards. Uh, I don't see that happening. Because <laughs> the top dog cannot bounce, so he has a bleeding mm -hmm. deck with Malkivians. The They're going to have to actually die. step in front of him mm -hmm. with uh, oh, Eagle Sight. Back. Oh, uh, let me think. And Kevin or, stays or... defending. Um, sure. The third hasher hits the table. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. And the cards are five. coming back. Guardian Vigil. That's a very good one, too. Yeah, it looks like he has everything he needs to uh, stop the top dogs yeah. clear in their tracks. Um, the, but that's not the one that he wants to stop. He wants to I stop think, the know. Giovanni. Exactly, so, yeah. Well, and I would expect him to, to get the Nigel Sight in hand. But we see. I mean, he's got two. It looks like he's pulling two of them. Um, yeah. Uh, Guardian Vigil. Uh, actually, vigils. I'll take uh, out of you. Oh, where are you? That's what his, his shows is to take. He's going to Then I have to discard down. Uh, which will be... Yeah, that's really the big question. Uh, um, bunch of Eagle Sights, a uh, bunch of Eyes of Argus, <clears throat> uh, On the Key Vive, um, Telepathic Misdirection, Guardian Vigil, Usher Tablets. Right, to block. Okay. Yeah. 
probably be holding an eagle sight already. No yeah, free. probably. No, free. no. no. Oh boy, we're getting. We one. had combat. Sure one. Uh, he's going for the Pumabis. We need to remove that to uh, to something. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. uh, but of course, you've already blocked that. But didn't use the Pumabis. So maybe he's planning yeah. for an house there. Savannah. Still going for Savannah uh, with Titi this time. Uh, yeah. Take it. And that's it. Uh, the calling order reading really tells you something it. about Graham's hand. Uh, where is it? Uh, according to Inferior Battle. Uh -oh. Pulling or writing yeah. tells you something about Bram's hand. Yeah. Um, I will influence uh, one and use power base and to blood down yeah. from influence. And now he has Savannah. Still, <coughs> still, I'm in. Uh, perhaps he did. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Cicero's son asked why he didn't play it when he was in combat. Um, Maybe he didn't feel that the time was right. Um, because, and also, too, even if Fernando ousts a uh, clever, uh, Brahm still has a chance to win the table. Yeah, sure. Because then Brown can go, you know, basically sweep the rest of the table. That is like six cool is tough, but also he yeah. might be waiting for uh, the Giovanni to kind of, you know, grind down their pool, their blood totals on them, and then yeah, probably do some the, combat. The, the, the Giovanni will have more difficulties going through the Malikavians because they do have bounces, okay. and uh, they do have a bit of uh, a bit of defense when it comes down to intercept. So yeah. it won't be easy prey for him. Because everyone, yeah, and everyone's got superior dominate, so uh, of the Giovanni. Yeah, I mean, between between necromancy uh, and dominate with seduction and uh, call of the hungry dead, uh, you can you can really pass uh, serious force. So I'm not so sure that my Cajun can take it. Um, to be honest, I pay I pay to prince. Still paying, paying to contest. That's kind yeah. of a bold move. Well, the Giovanni didn't go there. I mean, there's no hurry, right? If he kills mm -hmm. the top dogs, basically it removes pressure from the Malkavian. He has to handle the Malkavian himself. He's already winning. Yeah. There's no hurry into killing anyone here. To me? Yes, he was in combat with Fernando at one point, but then, um, oh, you know what it is? Oh, you know, Noria did have superior, yeah, they all get superior aspects. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, uh, it's bleeding, and the blade is getting redirected to Fernando, basically. Uh, he took it. Oh, he's down to five. That's not a lot. Bleed for two. Well, but also, too, because the table is basically turning against Fernando, because they true. kind of have to at this point. They have to, okay. because if you don't <laughs> get the first seed out, you, um, you, you don't no win maneuver. that. Basically. No maneuver, um, hunt strike. Oh, oh. And put some light here. There we go. Iron Tabis. No block. And Han Tebis hits the table. Not sure how much it helps in this position. But, uh... Okay, it's going it's going cross oh, table. Uh, hunting, hunting, sorry. Uh, no, uh, everyone have blood. I don't know. Oh, seems like we have an issue here. Okay. Uh, power base Montreal. Thank you. No, oh, that's good. We did hand, get Montreal. The Gago is left. Mine is attending. And time to bleed. Yeah. Okay. One. 
Hugo is going uh, yeah. down slowly but surely. Bit for one. Okay, that's the game's getting close. Ram is still sitting yeah. on sixteen pool. That's a fit the table has, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the table hasn't collapsed yet, but it is definitely heading there. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. This will not go to really out. Like, uh, that's really like the, the where the true skill of playing this game actually lies is knowing when to collapse the table and so that it falls in your favor. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen after the first house. Like actually the tension of the table uh, really went up yeah. quite a good. bit. Like right now, probably this turn, maybe the next things will get decided here. Yep. Yeah, cross table go went for moon wheel. And he let it through. I mean, there's no point, in my opinion, to uh, try to slow down the top dogs for Bram. It's good if, if the top dog gets a VP and the Malkavian Hof is back. Can probably handle the top dog all right. Mm -hmm. We've seen the number of wakes he's playing. <laughs> he can probably uh, block all nine of them in a row and bring them all to top uh, in a single turn. <laughs> And the giant's blood hits the table. That's for Tassin Center. Tassin, yep. Tassin, uh, That's a hard one. Yep. Uh, yeah, do we want to place a wager on whether or not Bram is holding a fame? Oh, that's a good one. I, I have to agree. I'd say the chances are pretty good. Uh, I would like to get a gun. And no oh, wow. fame down yet. I think he's keeping it. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, because where he might, where he's going to play it might change. Three. Yeah. Uh, depending on whether or not oh, he oh, can. Wait, four. Sorry, no power base. So he's getting a gun. Yep. Getting someone out, and that's big and I'm. That's it. So he's just so many fighting his uh, vampires. Well, I mean, he has the pool. And turn goes to Fernando. And he's and his vampires are pretty flush right now. Oh, yeah. uh, for the most part. So, so um if I I I don't remember if you played uh, I played in my uh, let me tonight. And Monster of Shadows. Ooh. That's, tip one, that's, that's a two. big ask. Uh, Wow, well, maybe it's time uh, to lunge, you know, spread at four. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But will... Uh, you know, will uh, Bram let Fernando oust them? Good question. Try to block. Uh, blade is going down. Mm. If that goes through, it's probably dead. Two buttons in the piece of string. And... Oh, Monster blade. Good block. No stats. He was Thank fetching you. for it, of course. Nothing before. Nothing. No maneuver. No maneuver. A lot of combat hands. Try again. Let's try again, he says. <laughs> Where's this Guillaume? What you got? Another govern. Good old govern the unaligned. Uh, seducing That's medicine to, to avoid the legal side from her. Full block. So. Mm -hmm. That's the predator block. Four. Good game. Now, uh, oh, I will oh, 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 no. Why, why didn't there he ask? Is. Why didn't he ask for the block I, before? He should I have. I have a saver. Right here. Uh, I know. It's here. Uh, you can ask for everyone to decline the block Let before playing the modifier, right? Mm -hmm. 
I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I tell you, it is. Maybe Carl will be able to answer that. <laughs> he says yes. Yeah, he should have asked before and not modify it because that's stealth right here that he doesn't get yep. just because. And Bram really waited to see if any modifiers will hit the table here. So that's not very skillful, I think. Yeah. I have a one aesthetic shot. Who's one stealth? That's one from the from monastery here. Right, that's not directed. Uh, no ways of Argus for you. Spectral different. And I have yeah, he's already got two. two he's got. This one yeah. from Monastery. Three? No? Um, this is on Inferior. Yeah, he had to have played that Inferior. Oh, you cannot, because he wasn't blocking. Yeah, and he played, played that played before, and that's a mistake right there. Yep. Right. If he had waited and asked for the block, he would have played it afterwards. <clears throat> and okay, that so would have bring him to three stealth. Uh, and there's there's a, there's a, actually there's a trick to it. You not you don't have to ask for the block. You can just say at the moment you play your bonding, you can say after everyone declines the block, I play the bonding. Then if someone have wants to block with eagle sight, you can roll back. You can say okay, excuse me, you wanted to block, I take it back into my hand. No, you're trying to block. Yeah. I play it at Superior. To have a uh, yeah. That would have, yeah, that would have had. Strike yeah. is combat ends. of course. Are we seeing no some psyche. kind of, uh, yeah, no psyche, no nothing to continue? Too bad. Because getting Guillaume out at that point could have been key. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, at least you know. For Fernando, thank God he had the uh, the combat ends in his hand. Yeah, because you know that would that could have ended very badly. We say he has twelve cards in hand. Try to block. Blocking again, second eagle sight. <laughs> Controlling the prey. Yeah. Now, okay. Oh, and this guy, this one's going to torpor, unless he uh, ends combat. Intercept. Okay. Oh, that's a one. He's going to torpor. And Bram's deck reveals himself here, in a way. Can, who do we take care of this prey? No free maneuver, no maneuver. Here he goes for the card. And strike. Yep. So he's Play using center. those aura readings to hopefully okay. uh, front load himself. Down. Non standard blocking is hard to put into the chart. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's, that was a very technical point, but this is high level play, so I think it's important. Yeah. Four locations, ten games, four pool. sacrificing to the insurance scan. Yeah. Getting pool, discarding, hand, discarding cards. Yeah. And it makes sense, it's down to four. Mm -hmm. Actually, something. Maybe he needs a vampire art. He does play Pecky uh, many is, combatants. We can maybe. fix the rules. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we can't. <clears throat> there are several of us that have tried, only to be politely rebuffed. You're absolutely right. That was part of the point that we were, you know, trying to make earlier: is that he should have absolutely asked at the entire table. Yeah, because we saw we block. saw these eagle sights, like everybody was expecting them. Um, yeah. It's hard to keep track of everything. And especially it gets it gets very tense when you're on your second. And, you know, people get excited. <laughs> on your finals, of course, it's very hard uh, spot to be hard to figure off everything. Imagine the pressure. And Teo is going into play. <laughs> And that's a bit of stealth hitting oh. the table right there. Uh, so Giovanni, that's great. Action or strike, burn blood, give that action plus one stealth, even though stealth is not yet needed. Or increase the damage. Burned by that action. Because well, maybe it's huh. here just because of his discipline and not because of his ability. I don't see how that fits in the plan, but we'll see. Yeah. Because in order to, you have to, I have <clears throat> like, even if you have, like, if you play as a, and the, 
I use it. Really quick. You ramp. Uh, one, one fame and down. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty right. It's a risky move here. Yeah, because even if you play it. spiritual intervention, it, the strike doesn't do damage, so you can't increase the damage by one. I do believe that that's. Yeah. Hunting. No block. Any block? Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see if Graham's going to start throwing rushes or not. <laughs> Good question. One bleed. One. He it's might be one. just playing a dozen eagle sites, you know. <laughs> Please <clears throat> for one. We we saw it with the rest with the other decks on the table. I mean, uh, no, Lewis is out, but uh, he was playing a large swarm with distributors. A bit like the top dogs here with all the one. yeah with the gargoyles. So I don't know. I mean, Brand, it's certainly Brand's an deck. interesting for vehicle for swarm bleed. I just I don't know if I actually like. Uh, basically playing a pool to take an action that because it's like okay he hasn't really been doing a whole lot with the top dogs themselves like oh i block your top dog and then you know usually the top dog eats your face but there really yeah. hasn't been any of that that i've seen so he's more relying on the fact that people are afraid of top dogs and not backing that up yeah yeah totally i agree Okay, block it. No pre maneuver. No maneuver. Uh, Raiki, one he has seven. done a really good job of you know, clinging very tenaciously. I think it ends up being faster uh, than one capacity computer hack. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Or a base? No, I mean it's it's a pretty cool deck. It is in the finals of a hundred players tournament. It is strong without a doubt. <laughs> We're criticizing yeah. because we don't like top talks basically. <laughs> And all in all, yeah, it's pretty fast because you don't have to, like when you play creatives, one capacity vampires with computer hacking, you have to play, put in place all this mechanic of effective management and how to get information highway, more vampires yeah, there's out definitely... in return. And it's hard to do. There you don't need to do that because that dogs come back in four, yeah, they, four they and four and three. <laughs> they definitely uh, reduce the opportunity cost for sure. Still, that's costly, Unlocked. but he plays tributes to Master, Master and has plays for a little bit of Ashura. allies, a bit of combat cards. Um, that's good. I think so he plays Ash I Talent. would like to get Bowl of Convergence. Yeah, Hugo has been on, on the defensive since the beginning of the game. He can't go forward at all. This is oh, contesting, right? Bowl. Yeah. That's an interesting play. That's a good move. I mean, it doesn't matter. Is, is he like trying to galaxy brain this whole thing? I know. And, his hand is full. I know. Oh, I was Fernando and Clever at the you know in the same turn. <laughs> I don't know, but but no, but we haven't seen a fame yet. We have not seen a fame out of uh, still no fame. And it's still no fame. Perhaps Darby was wrong. <laughs> And he's playing his cross table, of course. Try to block. I just punch you for one. Punch for one. No press. No punch press. for one, basically. Taste. And tasting. Um. Oh, he could be holding a dragon down. That is too true as well. Uh, yeah. Need one. And, and still. I find it strange that he didn't play any Anarchy World. What? But maybe that's a, like he doesn't want to advantage his prey. He, 
if you cannot okay, bring him down to the level where it's sure the Anarchy will take care of him, uh, um, it's just giving him a VP uh, because that will kill Kleber. Uh, the vessel is here, maybe yeah. he, uh, for, for defensive purposes. Maybe he's like locked with two or three Anarchy oh. Revolt in hand. I don't know. <laughs> and he cannot play them because this is really giving a VP to, to Fernandez. Mm -hmm. Discarded the dragon bomb. Yeah, that's it. He was holding it, <laughs> no. hoping for blocking or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That would have been a nice kill. <laughs> Two in a row oh. just with the dragon bomb. <laughs> it's always nice when a plan comes together. Well, there is nothing to do. Hunt. So Fernando is not dead. No block. No master. Just <coughs> hunting. But his, uh, his library is starting to dwindle at this point. Um, he's only yeah. got 22 okay. cards left. 22 cards in the library, 10 enhancements. Uh, Very small deck. Hand strike. Uh, it, it's not, like, it's 70 something. He's got, what, 7 in hand. Uh, let's see, Clever's got. Uh, 41 cards to work oh, with. Uh, right, 82. Uh, no, it's a big deck. It's a big deck. It just he played a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. And same with uh, Fernando. Like it's you know, 80 cards is a good sized deck. Uh, I think it's 90, in fact, because I didn't count the, the cards on the table. All in all, must be 90 cards. Oh yeah, that's probably right. You yeah. have 90 cards and he's down to 20 already. <laughs> That's making uh, very good use okay. of your cards. That's what I mean. I mean, in my yeah. book, if you manage to play that many cards, of course it's efficient. <laughs> um, close. Right. Are we going to see another eagle sight? Hands. Oh, no, he blocked successfully. Oh, he blocked. Yeah. No stats going down there. It's just six, so she doesn't benefit from the mastery. Yeah. Probably needs 10 eagle sight to control the table. Maybe he has them. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> this is an interesting game. There's no telling how, <clears throat> how yeah. it would unfold, really. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think uh, Hugo is probably going to be done. Good luck. Next He's in turn, such a hard spot. All right, I mean, let's go. You know, like he couldn't, he, he can't really afford to go left. Game <clears throat> well, but he didn't oh, choose it. That's like, it. Yeah, it was it was like fourth or five, fifth seed, and basically he had the yep. third seed, which is a monstrous wall. Oh, that's it. Is that? Uh, say again. Uh, what's in it for me? Okay, maybe you can bleed him. Then I'll rescue. Sure. Okay, and here so we go. The the table talk. Here we go. Um, Hugo was asking for a rescue from his prey. It's time for the rest of the table to, to gang up on the first scene with his two VPs right now. Yeah, can I move <laughs> you a bit, please? Bleed. Might just die right here. Uh, yeah, Bram does need. If Bram can oust, he has to oust uh, Fernando first before yeah. Fernando ousts no, 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 don't have. Hugo. Has okay. to happen. Thailand is still rooting <laughs> for the Giovanni, of course. Because right now, Fernando has two VP. <clears throat> uh, time remaining. Good question. Let me check the. Uh, there is one hour remaining on the timer. Lock fail. Mm. You block. Yeah, it's a long time for three players. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, but some percent of the thing is 
have the two discipline that's superior. You play handle. Let me check here. Mm, I will try to increase this. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we'll, unless something exceptionally bizarre happens. No, no, no. You said blocked. There is no going back. Okay. It's the final. No okay, no problem. You blocked. Mm -hmm. Oh, but. Nothing press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. The it. tournament is hard. <laughs> yeah. There's no, no coming yeah, back so from anything you announce. So give me Sometimes you know, like your your brain is thinking three steps ahead and it gets ahead of your your mouth gets ahead of everything else. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a harsh one. Okay. You know, being careful about what you say. And when you say it is always, especially at this such a high level of play. Yeah, you can't have all this kind of <laughs> mistake to fly <laughs> on the finals of this level. That's for sure. <clears throat> okay. One of those things. That's a lot of them, right? Yeah, has to play for the to pay for the contest or oh, yield. He yields, giving the bull back to the no, wall. It's, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's not like he's got much of a choice. He's not at know? four. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, he's down to four. Like he needs every poke. No, I don't. I don't uh, agree. What difference does that make? Any any bleed that goes through is dead anyway. <laughs> Uh, yes, he is still, um, no block. like we know that he's got, they haven't logged in on Lackey yet, but, um, perhaps the judge that's watching the game, tag uh, can tag that for him. Although I don't think that you can actually, uh, change stuff when you're a spectator. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I cannot change anything. No, no, you need to reduce your hand yep. size by one. You only have two locations. Yeah, but yes, of course, uh, mm -hmm. Fendler has two VPs here. Okay. Just I, didn't adjust. I think on the yeah. table, every player is uh, very, very uh, well aware. Of they're very focused on the game. They're not focused on the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going to a, a thing that a friend of mine had once said where there's there's nothing more mechanically important than your last hit point. <laughs> and I think that's, you know, like maybe he's need something else, you know, need that pool for something else. Oh, uh, there's unlocking. It will defend and deflect as required, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. That can put Bram in a very difficult position of, yeah, if you manage to block, you cannot deflect back to your predatory dice and you lose the game. So, <laughs> but I mean, it has a lot of intercept. We would probably be able to fragment. block the Givani. And got uh, the Erisys fragments risky. to play. Oh, that's an excellent card. Does have a bit of dominate here, lying uh, around somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> so you can use I mean, a bit of Giovanni cards. One. Yep, where direction is going down. Let's have many, many bounces. Take, take <laughs> one. Um, See where this goes. Lead one. No block. One. I cannot I'm afford right. to, to do a govern here. Or he would kill. I'm going kill him, basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, he, he also doesn't have anybody that's got down. Uh, he has Nuriel that's got dominate, but that's about it. Yeah, but that's enough, yeah. <laughs> he has the fragments. He could go for it. No block. Then touching the conditioning instead. Conditioning and it's that's it. <laughs> Even better than the golden. Oh, yep. Discard. Turn. Because if Sindelson wasn't able, uh, or if Fernando wasn't able to, I think, no, I think he made an error. 
You removed seven instead of three. <laughs> you went down two, three. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, he took he, he deflected like um, two blades of worm and took a bit of three. That's a bit that's a bit sad. Well, yeah. Maybe he failed to consider that uh, condition could be coming here. We are not playing. It might be easier to see some things on our side. I don't know. Why did he turn? Uh, okay, there we go. That must have been a misclick. Probably. And here we go. We're all waiting. The amount of uh, tension on the table, the entire game has only gone up. Yeah, it's impressive. It's not like it collapsed, or it's still very much in contest. I mean, Hugo is still in this. Yeah, very, very bad spot since, since it has been since the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, and even, well, luck, Uncle like, George. I and it's in one of the, uh, <clears throat> even if Fernando is able to oust his prey, I don't know if he's going to be the last man standing. Victoria, he probably plays out. He's only got nine cards left in his library. <laughs> <laughs> my dog, okay. right, my, my so there's only so much left for him, you know. One, that, you know, plus one bleed. Yeah. It's, it's a kid at that point. You know, I mean, he, no matter if Fernando's able to oust Hugo, you know, that pretty much that will cement the entire game for him because there's no way that anyone can get more victory points and claim the victory. PvP, that's um, it. Yeah. Most wait, else. wait. Uh, do you have more intercept? Hmm. What's wrong? I have two stealth and he has one intercept. He has more intercept. Do you have more intercept, Hugo? There it is. Mm. So is it deflecting or? Block fail. Uh, minus one stealth, or is it block fail? Oh, I think he added, uh, he block he added failed. intercept, but uh -huh. I understand why he didn't deflect it, like bounce it. It's at one stealth. So it is a bleed. Oh, random pattern. No, he used an intercept. Ah, OK. Sorry. Yeah, you couldn't have used it. Was uh, what, Uncle George blocking? Looks like it. Okay. Yeah, Bram is also asking why why they didn't bounce it. Oh, it is a bounce. Okay, tap a minion. No, it is. I will wake with Nuriel and uh, try to block to intercept. Okay. Dude is trying to block. Yep. You block. Where is he getting the, uh, the second right. intercept from? He's got the ball. Oh, got the ball, ball. Or did he burn? Oh, he burned one. Okay. okay. He burned one, yeah. Four, four. And that's it. The gun is in action. Two strikes from you. That's strong. Mm -hmm. This is a tight spot for Fernando. Not sure he can I mean, put that off. There's... But it's it's a good trick, but he he only needs to do it once. He only needs to leave for two. Yeah, yeah, that's all two, of the, that two dominates. actions and two actions and single big go through in the day and uh, that can happen. <laughs> you know, Uncle George, okay. Five cards remaining in Fernando's <laughs> library. <laughs> and he goes for the stealth. One intercept from Uncle George. This random pattern card is very oh, versatile. Wow. Yeah. It helped him bleed, but from the beginning of the game, it just gave him a very good He's defense. increasing the bleed. He's fetching but, so he's him. obviously fishing for stealth. So there that's we it. go. Uh, wait. Block fails. Wait, do you, do you have another bounce? Okay. 
<laughs> he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Better effect I do. Been waiting. I guess he's husking because he has a direct intervention in the hand. Right? Yes, once he wouldn't need to ask for any good side. Either that or no, it was uh, Brian that was asking about uh, if he had a deflect. Yeah, because I think he has a direct intervention in hand. So if he doesn't have a deflect, he can cancel the block fade, you know, try to save yeah. him. Well, he's already also played the block fails. Okay. So he can't play Hold another on. one of those particular, um, uh, what's it called, the Hungry Dead? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's already played it, so that would be a good move. <clears throat> I will hit those mics. We get a maneuver, and then we are in torpor. Viom is down. Hand size is reduced. That hits mm -hmm. hard at its point. With only six cards left. Still, if the last action goes through, it's like the three it. cards left, <laughs> according to. Man, Uncle George has no blood and he's been a tremendous defender. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, also, too, like the deflects have been yeah. coming, or the uh, last action have been it's worth from, uh, all the marbles. It's not fast and tensor. Discarding <laughs> that many this action is for all of the marbles. Yeah, all right. of the marbles. If that goes through, that's the end. <laughs> nice climb, nice climb. Look at this. In finals of Lucky. Yeah, one, one bleed, one stealth. stealth. You block. It's blocked. No more stealth. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hand strike. It tried. I mean. How did he, how did he get the one intercept? There was no stealth. Mm. It's a threat. It's just. Oh, it was threats. Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. Ram will win, win. Yeah, at this point, I guess uh, yeah. is in a very good position here. Just need to take care of this last Kyoveni. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. Is there anything you can do? I don't think so. It's not up too poor. I mean, he's got. Yeah. I mean, Hugo's. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he can dress up pretty, put on a little bit of a uh, cologne for the date that he has later. <laughs> that was so close. That was so close for Fernando. Oh. Fell for him. Two small, two small mistakes. Sure. Uh, and uh, maybe without them. On who? On me? So you're breaking the deal, right? <laughs> I'm oh, it's cute. It's cute to... when, he's, when he does that. Oh, you're breaking the deal. Like, <laughs> looking so like, surprised. <laughs> no deals are binding, ever. <laughs> like, the man why is you down at two. Uh, obviously, the table is brand. He has to try something, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, that was cute. I already that have vote locked. Why are you voting against <laughs> this? And it's just like, you might vote her, Cap? And because... It's a thing to do. Yeah, the scourge has stopped moving, but nobody cares. They don't have like small minions. So whether it stays or not, it's not really an issue here. They have enough to think about. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, that was a bleed. Yeah. Not for two. Correct. We're missing one, Judge. Get a sport bike. Block. One. Uh, bleed one. You played minor. Yep. Yep. He actually did. Okay. It's. Uh, or. No, he just. No, he played paid for the sport bike. No, oh, I mean we're still discussing uh, the bleed because he paid two for the bleed and not three, so it wasn't. Maybe an inferior version of Kindred Spirit. That doesn't make well, sense. I have but... Dominate, right? So I, I want to block him. Okay. Uh, no pre maneuver. No pre maneuver, no maneuver. We're just spectators. Well, we cannot really intervene two. in the game. Yeah. Whatever happens. Yeah, it, it must have been okay. for inferior at what re whatever reason. Not that I think that one pool is going to change that outcome. Yeah, maybe they just forget about the plus one bleed bonus of 
Bleed for one. That's some percent, all right. No block. No problem. <clears throat> yeah, bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Must have the wakes right. and everything he needs to, to block that last Giovanni. Discard. Carding concept oh. weapon. Six card, can you have? Well, Please wasn't able last turn. I would expect him to fail even more this turn with a single minion. I don't expect him to, uh, to get anything through at that point. Cannot oh. benefit from monastery anymore. Uh, no, Seems to lack a bit of stealth here. <coughs> Whoa, they didn't block well, it. What the? But <laughs> perhaps he was holding a condition. No, no, it has, it has a redirection. Yeah, of course. Better, better to send it to the... <laughs> With Nuriel? Yeah. The wall, of course. That makes sense. Mm. Don't want to enter, to enter oh, combat if you yeah. need to. Block fail. Don't see if I'm losing at that point. Here's the DI. Yeah, here's the DI. Deal. The block does not Deal. fail. I <clears throat> was waiting for that <laughs> since last turn. Well, he didn't need to play it then. This time he did. Well, yeah. I mean, it's new, you, and uh, if the block happens, oh, there's no combat, and no uh, it's finished for his trade. So, makes sense. It's like a killing well, move. Because you have a combatant. Okay. And no, that's Additional it. Oh, four and cards left in his hand. Additional strike two. Okay. Oh, and I know it's down. Oh, let me check. That is Arsh. Three. <laughs> four. Ouch. I want to burn. The best play was for the to back out. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Sacrificing for pool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not die too soon. Yeah. Let's play the timer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that won't be enough, I guess. Seven is not that much. Uh, 45 minutes remaining on the clock. Yeah, you don't survive 45 minutes. Like, wow, 45 vampires. minutes remaining on the clock. Jeepers. Yeah. Well, problem is, Malkavian probably cannot blade. Okay. Because they will just oust that predator with a bounce or something. Yeah, Although that would be hella clutch if, you know, uh, Hugo can, so can somehow just kind of pull that right out. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I mean, I don't see it happening really. <laughs> like, uh, well, it will be a, an awesome fit uh, if you manage to pull it off. But how exactly? Uh, three base plus eyes of chaos is five. I mean, he could, in theory, do it, but the big question is: is does Brom have, you know, wakes in his hand? And I think the answer is probably yes. Well, you never <laughs> know. Yes Maybe sometimes the hands are just clogged, and that's it. I mean, he yeah. has to uh, try. He has to try. Work with uh, we have all here we go. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected him to. Full lock for some blades of one if you didn't have some weights in hand. Um, ah, some stealth. Try to block. Still blocking. One intercept. Man, this this game is just such a nail biter. Where the you know the tenacity of Hugo. Try to block. Exactly. Like, for for being 
basically behind the eight ball almost the entire game. Yeah, like uh, really taken into sandwich between two higher seeds uh, that specifically decided to sit there. Yeah. <laughs> one as his prey, yeah, one okay. as his predator, and he managed to uh, still survive. And and he still has a chance of, yeah. So there's no block going here. Lead is through, and it's one. It doesn't matter. That's all he needs. Like if he is, if he's able to squeak through a bleed for, I mean, granted, it's a bleed for five. Uh, and I hard to do with my Kyrgyz. She has plus one, so it's possible. It's our time. Here he goes. All right, there we go. Uh, Bleed for three. Luck. Still has wakes. Does he have he -Vive? everything that he needs? So that's the question here. He used a lot of steps in the last action already. Uh, I, uh, sorry. Uh, you're on two stealth, right? That's on one three? stats, right. So that's two. No blocks. How much? All right, then there's another. This is uh, no blocks. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, it's five. five. And it's Re and there's stars. the best. Damn. <laughs> that was a beautiful move. Five, five. A beautiful move. <laughs> and not boots it back at this point. Uh, he could DI the bounce. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> but I also don't think that helps him. <laughs> no. Oh, man. That was so close. And that was so That close. was absolutely <laughs> delightful to watch. <clears throat> Yeah, you walk, try to block, and um, finally bounce to the five. That was supposed to kill him. That's really a close one. <laughs> yeah, and he already had played the direct intervention here, so no jokers mm -hmm. this time. <laughs> Hugo is discarding. Man, that went close, because if that went through, he had the game win here. He had enough stuff to go through the wall like he didn't exist. That's that's freaky. Yeah. Yeah. And geez, Unlocked. three stealth and another yeah. three stealth like that. He threw a lot of cards uh, <laughs> into those two actions. I'm, I'm kind of mean, yeah. I mean, the old deck usually five. don't do, don't play direct interventions, right? That that would have been awesome. <laughs> Just to have it at that point uh, and back end. For what we don't uh, know, but need one. <laughs> Bleed for no one. Block. Bleed one. It's a bleed for one. Yeah, Oof. yeah, that's and enough. There goes Fernando. Man, Can we get some uh, Fs in chat Fernando. for Fernando, please? Yeah, yeah, please. The closes because that was a beautiful play, a beautiful uh, deck. One. And Bram is now just executing the plan, oh, you know. <laughs> Up to 16, Discard. it will be hard to take down. Yeah. And Hugo has just two pull, two pulls. I don't know, maybe you can still yes. pull something up, you know? Things are looking grim, but he does good. have... I mean, he's still standing. He still has a chance, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, here goes the blade. It will here be harder than you would have thought. <laughs> and there's no point seeing anymore, boys. <laughs> We're down to the okay. dual part of this thing. X4. Jake's Jake, that's a good win. And always, you know, protect from a from a rush or something. I guess not. But, in this but, position, but like he has to wait till next. You know, he might not survive till next turn. That's true. Uh, 
It was well played, Helton, though. Did you put a, a uh, counter on Greens? You know, like, he was right there to the edge, the and it took two people to stop oh, Fernando, basically. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. They ganged up. Breaking, uh, try to block with Titi. Maybe you should just have waited for the table to collapse in front of him instead. That's hard to tell. that's hard to say. Hugo can not win this game. I don't know, he has a lot of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, here you go. Vampire has to burn blood, right? Uh maneuver too long. I know he managed to block. Sorry. Additional strike two. Tastes. Yeah, yeah. Looks like the end of the the end of the road here for Hugo. Good game. Wow. Yeah. Yep, I think that's no, no problem. <laughs> And I Thank think you. that uh, that's it. I think it sounds like uh, Hugo is conceding. Yeah. Well, he cannot win anymore. He can draw. He cannot draw. Like even if he has his prey, he has less yeah. than Fernando. But that would mean that Fernando wins. But yeah, at this point. So that's it. Well, that's it. He um, conceded. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, so he conceded. So that's uh, three victory points for. Congratulations. Thank you. Brand's uh, Brand. victory and uh, yeah, so, Belgium has dominated here with this tournament. It's, it's, they sent only two players, here. both were in the top but 20 the after round two the first day. And it's finally, uh, Brands in the finals yeah. won this. Yeah. Yes. Awesome, Thanks awesome performance from his side. And great deck here. Yeah. Mata well. Sunta, Nuno, Titi Carrera. It's mm -hmm. a great combination. Thank you. Yeah, so that's it. And playing uh, a blocking deck is actually into, takes a lot of skill because you, you know, exactly. knowing uh, when and what uh, to block. And we saw that. Uh, like like you really have to know. It was perfectly timed. Um, he, he really the, manages the, the, the balance yeah, of the table all and all yes. during the whole game to again, please. Yeah, target. Uh, no, I see exactly uh, what it is. Awesome. About the resolution of of this tournament, okay. Okay. So that's it. You all. Thanks very much. Judge called, right. judge called it. That's it. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Any final words, Chris? Yes. Thank you for joining us. Um, Lionel, I had a blast playing in the tournament. I played against them. so many great new people, and it's always uh, meeting people is always like the best thing about coming to some of these events. Well, thanks, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad a lot of people enjoyed it. Um, uh, this was really an awesome experience, a great tournament. Thanks, everybody, and uh, congratulations again, Bram, for this victory. Okay. So, well, we'll uh, catch you all on the flip side. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye.